Hi there, I'm Jen from Simple Green Smoothies, and if you like Asian fusion foods like Pad Thai, then this is the recipe for you. We are making a new one from my book. It's called Simple Green Meals, and the recipe we're gonna make today is called Almond Butter Swoodles. And if you don't know what swoodles are, all you're doing is you're taking a sweet potato and spiralizing it to turn it into a swoodle. The first thing you need to do is preheat your oven to 425 so you can bake your sweet potatoes. All right, now we are gonna make the sauce, which has a combination of onions, it also has some ginger, which was really good to help fight inflammation and keep your digestive system calm. And the last thing we're gonna add is garlic. So I like to crush it with a knife because it makes it really easy to peel it. And then we're gonna pulse our food processor just to get everything blended or chopped up really finely. Next, we're gonna add our almond butter. Almond butter is a great plant-based protein and it also has a lot of healthy fats. Then we need to do one tablespoon of honey. You can measure it or you can eyeball it, which is more of the way I like to do it. So you take a pretty good size and glob it in. And that's one tablespoon. You're also gonna need to do one tablespoon of tamari. And if you're not sure what tamari is, it's a gluten-free soy sauce, and this is one of the brands that I like to use. And one tablespoon of lemon juice. This is fresh squeezed lemon juice. I just made a ton of it and put it in a mason jar, which you can keep in your fridge and have on hand. We're also gonna add in one teaspoon of paprika and some crushed red pepper, which gives it a little kick. If you do not like spices, you can leave this out. All right, now we're gonna add a little bit of water, which will help it blend up in here. All right, we have our Pad Thai sauce which I'm gonna show you is very thick, but also creamy. It's gonna be really good. Okay, the next step is to spiralize your sweet potatoes. So we are gonna finally make the swoodles of the recipe. To do that, I'm gonna cut off the ends of the sweet potato, which I have already washed, and we're gonna attach it to the spiralizer, which is this contraption over here. Gotta push it on high. In there. All right, and once it's locked in and secured, we just start spiralizing. Now we're gonna take all of these swoodles, put them in a bowl. And just so you know, one medium-sized sweet potato gives you 100% of your vitamin A for the day. So that's like a vitamin in itself. And we're gonna combine the sweet potato noodles with coconut oil, which is our healthy fat that we are gonna use to roast these. So they're crispy, delicious, filling sweet potatoes. I like to mix the sweet potatoes with my hands when I'm doing the coconut oil so I can really get in there and get it all coated. You can also use tongs if that's easier for you. Right now we're gonna put them on our baking sheets. I lined the baking sheet with parchment paper to help it not stick. And you wanna make sure you spread them out really well because that will help get them crispier. You want a thin layer throughout. Next, we are gonna add some salt. And we're gonna finish it off with some freshly ground pepper. All right, now they're ready to go in the oven. 
It's gonna take about 15 to 20 minutes for the sweet potatoes to cook, but I like to continually check on them until they're nice and crispy. All right, you'll know when your sweet potatoes are done when the edges are a little bit brown, a little crispy, but the middle part is more soft and bright orange and that you're ready to go. So we are going to put them on our plates. Depending how hungry you are, you can add more. And right now I'm really hungry, so we're gonna have them. All right, now we are gonna add the almond butter to the top of the swoodles. I like to do about two tablespoons of this because you want it to really coat the sweet potatoes. All right, and then for our toppings, we have green onions, which are also called scallions and a parsley. And parsley is an herb that is great for detoxing your body. So I like to use a lot of parsley on my food. The last thing I want to do is add the simple cashew coleslaw to the side of this. I like the combination of the textures when you have a little bit of crunchiness and then also savory um, kind of mushiness too. So good combination, which we have right here. I hope you enjoyed this recipe and if you did, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't made it and you have a question, feel free to leave it in the comments below and we'll get back to you and help you out. And make sure to subscribe to our channel and I cannot wait to share with you another video coming soon. All right, bye.